Hi, this is Steve from Deep Instinct. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to talk to you about one of the newer strains of ransomware that we're seeing impact many different industries called NetWalker and how Deep Instinct can help. NetWalker is a type of ransomware that's fairly sophisticated in the way that it operates, the way that it targets specific files, the way that it essentially is looking to ensure the attacked or the victim feels like there is no other option other than to pay the ransom. So I pulled just three quick examples. Ontario Nurses College was hit by the ransomware. Equinex was hit by NetWalker this past week. And then the government of Argentina was was a victim of NetWalker where they demanded $4 million in ransom. So this is, this is no joke. This is some serious ransomware. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop over into our product and we're going to take a look at how Deep Instinct handles this NetWalker ransomware. So if this is your first time taking a look at Deep Instinct, let me explain a little bit about our solution. We are an agent-based solution that uses deep learning to identify and prevent threats from impacting your environment. So for this example, I actually had to disable the prevention capabilities of Deep Instinct in order for me to even download the file. And the reason I had to do that is because our analysis of files occurs pre-execution or what we call zero time. So with a machine that has in, uh, Deep Instinct installed, as files are downloaded to the machine or even moved around the machine, our Deep Instinct static file analysis will immediately kick into gear, analyze that file, and in under 20 milliseconds, it's going to determine if the file is malicious or not. If it's malicious, we can quarantine it. If not, good to go. Go ahead and use the file. So what I'll do first is I'm going to go into my policy here, and we're going to make a quick update. I will turn back on the prevention. I want to highlight one other thing about our solution. So we do produce about two different brain, what we call deep brains, or this is our deep static, deep learning static file analysis model. We produce about two a year. So our latest was just released a, a month or so ago, 118. But what I want to do is I want to take a look at our model 109. Now this model was trained and delivered to customers in November of 2018. And once the model has been trained and delivered, there are no updates, no further updates made to the model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply that change. And what I'll do is I'm going to just, all I have to do is go to my update. Right now I was in detect only, as I mentioned, but we're going to go ahead and apply that update so that you'll see it's going to change to detect and prevent. Okay, here is the, here is the sample of NetWalker. And all I really need to do is try to move it somewhere. So I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to try to paste it to my desktop. So immediately the file was blocked. So to recap, this was the sample that we just looked at of NetWalker ransomware. So as I mentioned, I was using the Brain version 109, which was released in November of 2018. There were several attacks that I mentioned that occurred in September of 2020. So this is obviously much after the, uh, the Brain was trained and released. I actually just pulled a sample of the day. From a, from a third party repository, and we saw with their own eyes that the sample was blocked. So we blocked a brand new or a very, very recent uh, ransomware sample with a brain that was trained like 22 months earlier. So that is what we call resilient prevention. Prevention that you can count on to keep you secure day in and day out. So for more information about Deep Instinct and how we can help you with your ransomware challenges and any other security issue you may be having, please visit us at deepinstinct.com. Thanks.